This video is going to walk you through the second tab of the keyboarding exercises spreadsheet. So here I am on the first tab. I just got to my number 10. And now I need to get to the second tab in keyboarding exercise two. Now I could click on the tab with the mouse, but again, that's going to slow me down. So instead, I can use control page down. Control page down and control page up lets you move left and right throughout the tabs in the bottom of the spreadsheet. So control page up takes me back to instructions. Control page down takes me to keyboard exercises one. Control page down one more time takes me to keyboard exercises two. All right, so this exercise is really very similar to what you did in the first tab. We're gonna be using the control keys with the arrows to move around these mazes. All right, there's gonna be one wrinkle we'll get to in just a second, but we start out at the start, control down arrow to one, control right arrow to two, up arrow to three, control left arrow to four, and control up arrow to the first finish. Now it says to jump to T11. All right, so you could arrow over there. Uh, however, you're gonna get penalties for going off the track. So we have to have a way to jump from this cell, which is G7, all the way over to the next start at T11. And this is where the F5 key comes in handy. So F5 is go to. It lets us go to any cell we want. And so we type T11 for the reference and it jumps us over to that next path. Now we can use control arrows again, over, down, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, and right to take all the way to the finish. And again, once we get to the finish, keyboard exercise three tab has been revealed. And we can again use control page down to get to that next tab. 